All right, Shalom, Yashala, peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew one who has taught us this truth. And also peace and salutation to the whole for the like, our labor and truth to sincerity in the four corners of the earth, understanding and the of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kadash. All right, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. All right, Bahashim is in the name. Yahweh Shah being the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, uh, the Lord and Savior of Yahshua Allah, all right, which is Israel, all right, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. But truly, once again, his name is Yahweh Shah. Bahashim, once again, is in the name of Raka Kodash, Raka being spirit, Kodash being holy. So, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and that was said in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew, and that word Pele goes back to ancient. So, it's the ancient Hebrew, the language of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, this is Brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp, and just want to go into a quick lesson. And Lord's will let this lesson is edifying. And um, as you know, as you know, um, we we literally around, uh, well, not even around the corner, but there's a few days where they're gonna a uh, few days uh, within a few days they're gonna push forth or they're gonna have this uh, vaccine on delivery. All right, being sent forth across the United States. All right, to, to, to push forth on the people. And, you know, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot at stake. But, all right, but one thing you know, one thing we know, and one thing we hold on to, and I say we, I'm talking about those that, that, that the Cleveland said, where's the Yahweh Shem El Shah? Believe in Yahweh Shem El Shah, the hopeful elect. All right, what we believe is that, that, that our, our faith is what's going to carry us and keep us pushing. All right, believing in Yahweh Shem El Shah. Because that's one thing that they can't take from us, all right? Um, everything else that's tangible, they can take that from us and make our lives rough. But ultimately, you know, if we if we lose everything, and but we still continue to hold on, hold fast to Yahweh Shem El Shah, that we are all right, all right? And we're going to be taken care of. That's why Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time, and the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, all right? Don't forget the key word is the fear of the Lord is his treasure, all right? And what is the treasure, all right? What is that? You know, uh, 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 you know, going to riches, right? And what is the true riches? Knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Not knowledge, wisdom, understanding of your how about Shemel Shad is truth, all right? And um, what what Esau Edom is trying to do is he's trying to pervert the minds of uh, uh, of Jake, you know, you so called Black Hispanics, Native Native and Seminole Indians, all right, and get you swayed off so that you can fall in the trap, fall in that snare. All right. So I have Ecclesiastes seven and seven in the read. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. All right. And that's and that's 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 exactly what it is, man. We've been oppressed for so long that we're ready to get up out of here. But the world, those uh, those jakes that are dwelling in the world, they don't understand the severity of what what's going on. All right. Although they see these things happen. All right. They 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 see that the year twenty twenty the year of prophecy was a rough year, you know you still have Jake out there that's uh, uh still trying to establish something, still trying to hold on to something when they really don't have anything, all right. So surely oppression make it the wise men met and they gift to show up the heart and that's what exactly what's gonna happen because what they're gonna do is they're gonna the uh, they're gonna take away everything from you, all right. Because now these jobs is gonna tell you that oh, you know, um, if you don't have this vaccine. All right. If you don't take your vaccine, you're gonna uh, you're not gonna be able to come into work. All right. And if you don't come into work, you don't have a a way of income. So that means if you're paying for rent, that means you're not gonna be able to pay for rent. So that means your house is gonna be online, uh, online on the line, and uh, your um paying rent, your apartment's gonna be on the line. All right. And and if you have a family, you know that that that's gonna that's gonna it's gonna be have a domino effect. All right, but ultimately that's why we have to stay rooted in this truth, man. Stay rooted in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, because Jake out here still chasing paper, man. They still chasing this money, and that's what's gonna destroy them. That thought of them trying to establish something in, in uh, Esau's Edom kingdom, all right, America, all right, Babylon the Great, which is actually crumbling as we speak, all right. Them thinking that they have a position here or want to build up here is gonna be their downfall, all right. Because you know ultimately what's going to happen Esau Edom is going to come down having great wrath Pertaining on to Revelations 12 and 12 Alright which I'm going to bring out real quick And it reads Therefore we rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea For the devil has come down unto you Having great wrath because he knoweth that he had But a short time Alright so now he knows he has a short time And look where we at man 
look at the, 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 the operation operation warp speed within seven months within seven months he 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 he, he then came up with a vaccine uh, a vaccination uh shot that can um you know that that for for, for this uh crown 19 all right look at that in a quick fast in a hurry and why is that because he's desperate all right but jake still is blinded by the money man they still blinded by 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 this um trying to trying to build up man there's still people out here thinking about um there's people out here still thinking about uh you know 2021 is going to be a better year or they think one day this thing's going to go back to normal but it's not all right this is proverbs 17 and 23 and it says a wicked man take it the gift out of his bosom to pervert the ways of judgment all right and that's exactly what esau does man Esau takes a gift just to pervert pervert the way of judgment. All right? And, you know, that's exactly what it is. Mon money will blind people according to some facts, man, to, to what's going on. Or or, or some type of uh, 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 stability, you know, keeping your life. All right? Here, you take this and, and, and you get to keep your life. And guess what? Not knowing that they fell for the trap, man. All right? So, um, what's the next precept I was going to get? Um, bear with me. All right, this is why we constantly tell you to 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 seek the Lord while He may be found. All right, let me grab that real quick. Oh, uh, bear with me real quick. All right, this is Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem El Shah, while he may be found, and call, call ye upon him while he is near. All right, and that's what we're saying, man, because there's still a, 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 a the men on the, a, a men of the Lord are still on the highways and the byways, man. The prophets uh, on the highways and the byways. All right, so hey, man, if, if you don't if you don't understand and get this truth now, man, then you're going to get over uh, overthrown, man. Esau Edom's going to come in and he's going to deceive you. Which he already deceived a uh, majority of Jake. All right. But if you don't wake up to this truth, if you don't try to take heed to this truth, man, ultimately it's for the elect. So, you know, uh, the elect is going to wake up. But, you know, it, it, something has to be activated in your spirit. The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yashah, has to activate your spirit to wake up, man. And this is what you have to pray for, man. All right. Taking heed to this word because, look, what's going to happen? You know, uh, Esau is going to come down having great wrath and you're not going to have no type of protection whatsoever. All right, because the only only way you're gonna get through this time is by way of what? By by Yahweh Bashim El Shah, the protection of on um, from on high. All right, it says uh verse uh, verse six again. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, and call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh Bashim El Shah, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. All right, see. All right, so the Lord is talking about what? If you turn back to him, he's going to have mercy on you. Right? And, and, and in this time that we're entering into, this is the best, this is the this is the most important time for us to have, want to receive mercy from Yahweh Bashim El Shah because death is going to be uh, uh, spread out as, a, a, uh, like the Lord said, um, you know, these, these, these bodies are going to be cast out in the street as dung, man. All right, all these things, as you can see, everything's just intensifying more and more. You got the Proud Boys uh, and Antifa really going at it now. Now, there was an article stating that uh, that was posted today on RT News saying that, uh, uh, you know, one of the Antifa uh, protesters got shot by one of the Proud Boys. All right. So it, it, it can't it can't go back, man. It can't go backwards now, you know. But guess what? Jake's still focusing on trying to trying to hold on to what they got. All right. Hey, man, I got another precept real quick just to let you know. Ah, uh, so like it. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. It says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. All right? So this money ain't going to deliver you from, from wrath, man. You can't pay your how about Shemel Shai. All right? You can't pay him with tangible money, you know, these paper fiat notes. Or any silver and gold or any substance that you have. Because ultimately, the riches come from your how about Shemel Shai. It was already his. All right, so you can't give him any form of payment, all right, to, to escape the day of wrath. But what, what, what can help you 
uh, 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 escape it. It says, but righteousness delivered from death. All right. And what is righteousness? Righteousness is turning back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua and his words. Keep trying to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability and praying and hoping that he have mercy on you in this time that you may be uh, escape the judgment that's going to befall the earth, man. Fall on the earth. All right. So ultimately, once again, riches profit not in the day of wrath. Your house that you have ain't going ain't gonna to stop Esau from uh, 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 you trying to hold on to your house. Uh, ain't going to stop Esau from coming down with great wrath. All right. This, uh, uh, you, you, you having a hundred thousand in the bank ain't going to stop Esau Edom from coming down with great wrath. All right. Because ultimately it's all Esau Edom is doing the bidding of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on the left hand side, man. All right. You got to understand that. And that's why the scripture talks about where your mind is. That's where your heart shall also be, man. All right. Let me grab that. Matthew 6 and uh, 19, it says, Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, all right? And, 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 and that's straight cutting to the point. He's telling you straight up, lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, all right? Does that mean you're not going to have things going in your life? That's, it's not talking about not, 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 not you know, putting off. Because you're going to receive blessings from Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. You know, the Lord's going to bless you with a, a apartment or a house or a, good, a decent job or, you know, some, some, some money, which money is a defense. You know, it's the love of money that is, is the root of evil. So, so, but actually money is also a defense, man. The love of money is what makes people do some wicked acts, man, such as Esau Edom, primarily. All right. But once again, this is lay up for, your, for yourselves treasures upon earth. So like it. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. All right, where moth and rust do corrupt, and then and and where thieves break through and steal. All right, so don't don't focus on on stacking your 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 riches here on earth, man. That's the that's the mindset of it, not to focus on it. All right, and it says, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. All right. So, hey, man, our main focus is to what? Lay up treasures in heaven. All right. That's that spiritual bank account. That's that bank account that is secure with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. It's, and, and it's for certain. All right. Because that's the treasure. As they say, the, the things of the world, you can't take it with you. But guess what? Once you once you once you receive that, uh, once you store up your treasures in heaven, man, you can the Lord can uh, 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 you can utilize it, man. It, it's going to be utilized. It's going to be it's going to be worth it. All right, you're gonna be able to access it at a, at due time. All right, that's spiritual savings, man. All right. It says, uh, verse twenty one, where your treasure is, there will your heart also, uh, there will your heart be also. All right. So, hey, where your treasure is, your mind is on the things of the heavens. Your mind is on the uh, uh, on the treasures that is with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Your focus is gonna be on Yahweh Bashim Al Shai because you will. One day, eventually, receive that reward by way of your Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. But if your your your, your uh, treasures are here on earth, and you have Esau Edom controlling, because the scripture uh, in Deuteronomy, the, the curse says, we're gonna have to go to our enemy for the want of all things. So if you laying up treasures here, that means you are looking towards Esau to to, to hold you down, man. All right, now Esau is gonna have you get uh, being tossed to and fro. For those riches, man, for those things that you are trying to hold on to. So if your mind is on focusing and building up here and wanting this place to continue, hey, man, you're in the wrong place mentally, man, and spiritually, all right, and physically and emotionally. Because at the, at the same time, man, you have to depart from this place like Micah 2 and 10 says, man. All right, rise and depart for this ain't your rest. You can't rest with someone coming now talking about forcing uh, um, a substance in you, man, some type of uh, inoculation in you, man. All right, that's not rest, man. And you have to constantly figure out if if you don't want if you if you because because you stand on something if you believe in something and you don't want to take it, hey man, they're gonna throw or you can't go to work and and, and they want to throw you in jail, threaten to throw you in jail. All right, and then it's gonna sway people off of their 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 their, their beliefs, man, and what they stand for. But ultimately, you know, that's why you pray to Yahweh Bashim Al if you believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah to give you strength in these times, man. But once again, that riches that 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 that, that you can trying to continue on to live here ain't going ain't going to save you. All right. This is um. Let me see. Uh, tss, tss, um. Grab my last piece. Sir. All right. 
right? This is uh, Matthew 10 and 39. And he that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it, all right? Hey, man, that's plain and simple. He that findeth his life shall lose it. So if you want to, you finding your life here, if you want to establish and continue your life here, all right, then A, hey, man, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose your life because at ultimately life, life is, 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 is what is it? Everlasting life is in Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Everlasting life is in Yahweh Bashim El Shah. All right. And if you're not seeking Yahweh Bashim El Shah and you choose to seek the uh, uh, outside of the Lord, outside of his counsel, Hey man, you're seeking death, and that's what it says. And anything that you hold on to in this earth, because the scripture talks about how the, the earth is gonna pass away. Not the earth, but the new uh, the, the the old heaven and the old earth, which is talking about the rulership, and in this time, this age is gonna pass away. All right, with the Lord sending them thermonuclear uh, missiles to destroy everything in America. All right, what's gonna happen? All right, you're not gonna have anything. All right. So ultimately, you're gonna lose your life by 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 having that strong connection to these 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 substance that's not able to save you, man. All right. But it says that he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. All right. Uh, we already lost our lives, man, by by turning back to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Once again, the Lord will bless you uh, 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 here and there to give you what you need. All right. That's what it says. Uh, uh, give us this day our daily bread. He's gonna give you exactly what you need day to day. But but then again, your main focus is not going to be on the the, the 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 belongings, the substance of the world, man. Your 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 your, your mind and your heart, your laab is going to be upon the the, the 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 substance that are in the heavens, man. The true riches, the how about Shemel Shah meditating on 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 how we can get the, to the kingdom of heaven on the first on the first tribe, man. All right. So hey, man, if you lose your life, which means you putting off the world. And, and, and denying the things of this world, man, and, and, and just suffering patiently, hey, man, it's continue to say, he that loses hit hit, loses his life for my sake shall find it. And how are we gonna find it? Because when Yahweh Shah comes back, all right, and he devil, devil, delivered the elect, all right, Lord's will we be part of the elect, man? We're gonna live with him, man. We're gonna, he's coming back with healings and his healing in his wings, man. And not just only that, we're gonna receive new bodies and we're gonna live forever. All right, that's when we're going to receive the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahshua Allah. All right, the new heaven and the new earth with the righteousness. All right, so, uh, you know, that's just about it, man. Just wanted to go into a quick lesson on that, you know, because, uh, cause, hey, man, this time is, is near. And you have people that's willing to, that's willing to, 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 to take this, this Maxine in order to keep their jobs and keep their lives going as if, the things, their personal belongings and their riches and things of this world is going to help them uh, 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 escape from judgment. But hey, man, once again, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is the only one that you can, you can, that can pardon you from judgment. All right, is the only one that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is the is is the way of life, man. And even if you have to suffer, suffer patiently, all right, suffer for the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. I count count as you being blessed because. Hey man, what you think the uh, the apostles, apostle uh, Peter and John, what you think they went through? The disciples went through, man, and they rejoiced because they suffered for the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shah. All right, and guess what? Now they have a they have a, a crown waiting for them, just like Apostle Paul said, man. Even Apostle Paul, he suffered for Yahweh Bashem El Shah, and now he said he had a crown laid up for him. All right, so hey man, you know that could be us, man, if we continue to hold fast. The Scripture says this. Let me just end it off on this. Matthew 24 and Matthew 24 and 13 it says but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and that's our goal man to be saved up out of this place man all right to avoid the destruction man so we have to endure unto the end so you have to hold fast to that which you have let no man take your crown all right but for those in the world man hey once again seek ye the Lord while he might be may be found and, and, and get rid of that mindset of you trying to hold on to, to, to anything here because at the end of the day, you don't have anything here. All right? So with that, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shah, Bahashem Akakudash, the honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, who rule one who's taught us his truth, and also peace and salutation to the whole for the elect. With that, I want to say Shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwam Yashallah.